My name is John Welsh and I'm a nurse consultant in critical care here at University College London Hospitals. So I work in the three intensive care units that we have and I also am the lead for the three outreach teams we have. And the outreach teams are critical care nurses who go to wards in response to deteriorating patients. What I did was I trained as a general nurse. I went to work on a, on a medical ward for a year and a bit. I'd heard a lot about this place called Critical Care. I'd been there in my training, so thought that I might want to do it. Because I thought I was quite good at the physical stuff, I knew my biology, I knew the technical stuff. I wanted to think more about the mind, so my hospital paid for me to go and do a psychology degree, which is what I then did. I built up experience purely in clinical work. Then later on I became a teacher. I was a lecturer at King's College, University of London, in critical care aspects did some research when I did my degree courses and I've sort of picked up leadership and had some training leadership along the way and now I'm in a position to combine all of those things. Nurse consultants are compelled to spend at least 50% of their time in clinical work but you can also make the connection to the to the top level of the trust and work out how our systems can be improved to, to help an individual patient. I'm in a position to have a strategic input so I'm part of the groups that look at the safety systems across the hospital, some of the business aspects. I don't manage anybody, but I am part of the management board of the intensive care unit. It's, it's gratifying when something that you've picked up on or your team has picked up on gets put into, uh, into the organisation's policy. And that says something about the organisation too, that they put people like me, clinical people, in a position to make those sorts of decisions.